Hi guys, my name is Nicole, licensed clinician, and we're here talking about everyday things that impact our mental health and fitness. And I have to tell you, I am a little bit frustrated with myself right now. So um, I tried to use my phone to record because I've been recording on my computer and I feel like I can't get a lot of the background stuff out of the frame. Um, so I was recording on my phone this morning and my little receiver, I think, for my microphone and also my microphone lost battery. Um, so it's just been one of those days where I recorded like four videos <laughs> and got sound on one of them. So here I am starting over. Um, so long in the short of one of the videos that I did was really recommending you to go Google Rock Thomas, like Rock, like R-O-C-K Thomas, and his video, How to Change the Way to See Yourself. I think that's what it's called. Um, I, I'll link it if I remember to do that. Um, but I think a huge gap, uh, I don't want to say failing, but a huge gap in uh, therapy oftentimes and even in going to school and getting through different trainings um, is how to do the thing that we know that we need to do right we know that we need to change our way of thinking we need to kind of reprogram our brains but how do we do that so we use things like cognitive behavioral therapy to you know encourage some of that more critical thinking but there's also this like we have to combat the ingrained negative thoughts and things that we tell ourselves and those things are ingrained because of repetition because we're told things over and over again we get a certain message over and over again whether that's implicit or explicitly said and then we start internalizing that message and then looking for things that reinforce that message and so it's not always just as simple as let me do a worksheet uh you know once a day or multiple times a day to challenge some of the thoughts, although that is definitely helpful and part of it. I think that Rock Thomas really nails it when he talks about how he learned how to reprogram his brain. And essentially, um, in the video, he talks about his emotional abuse and some, some of that emotional trauma from his father. Um, so just go into that knowing that I think it's really important to watch that, though, because it's part of the story it sets the context for what he's saying next how what he had to overcome by giving his himself the the new message and the new programming like what he had to replace so long and the short of it is that he learned that he had to tell himself something positive a different message multiple times a day like over and over every chance that you got He's, you know, a thousand times a day, you have to tell yourself something positive. And that sounds like such a daunting task. Um, but what I want to kind of challenge you with is two things. A, one, go and watch that video because I think that's really important. I'm not going to cover it all here. I've probably recorded and re-recorded the same video like a million times this morning. And again, I didn't get any sound on it. So I'm trying to make this really short. Um, B, when you're making your statement to counteract your negative things, don't say the word not. So, for example, if you are feeling anxious or if you identify as an anxious person, what we say that follows I am, so if you say I am anxious, that becomes kind of like where our brain latches onto and becomes kind of part of our identity. So instead of saying something like, I am not anxious, to counteract that I am anxious thought, saying something like, I am courageous, or I am capable, or I am liked, or, you know, whatever the case may be. So because what happens is that our brain just drops that not out of the sentence, always. Um, you know, we see it when we're dealing with children, right? We tell somebody, don't do that or not to do something and their brains just kind of just hear like yeah sure push that button right um until we give them something different to do so we have to give our brain something different to focus on so it's not i'm not anxious it is i am courageous or something along those lines and tell yourself this like i said 
as often as possible. Leave yourself post-it notes places. Um, pick one thing. I know sometimes we can come up with a list of things we want to tell ourselves. Pick one thing and focus on that at a time. And then kind of see how you make some progress in um, shifting your mindset a little bit and kind of reprogramming your brain. But again, I highly, highly, highly recommend looking up that video. I am not going into any more detail on this one, but I would like for you to tell me what are some things that you came up with for your, your reprogramming statement, essentially. Um, and if you're stuck trying to figure something out, like by all means, drop that in the comments as well, and we can help you figure it out. Let me know.